politician that did something right? Montana finally fixed some stupid knife laws, and in response, Daddy got a new knife. Hear about it now. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for coming around today. If you haven't been here before and you're not subscribed, please do that real quick. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Facebook, do that as well. Excited about this review today. As I mentioned in the intro, Montana changed some laws forever. I moved here and for a long time, Montana's had laws on automatic knives and larger knives. So you could only conceal carry a knife under four inches and you could only conceal carry an auto knife under an inch and a half blade length. So to say the least, it was really locked down. Pretty much you couldn't carry auto knives. They also had in there daggers and switch blades and all these other things, swords. So really goofy law that was probably made a long time ago. I kind of envisioned Michael Jackson running around when they made that law. So anyways, in November 17, they uh, fixed the law and uh, enacted April 3rd of 19. So now pretty much there's no laws on concealed carry. So you can carry a, a auto knife, you can carry um, bigger regular folder knives, whatever you want, which is awesome because the difference between carrying an auto and a regular flipper is nothing. It's just what their mechanisms are. So it all made no sense. Great job Montana in fixing it. But who cares about that? So what I really want to talk about today is the Launch 4. Now this is a really cool little knife that I think you're going to like as well once we go through it. So let's talk about the specs real quick and then we'll get on to the knife itself. Kershaw's automatic launch series is simply superb. These knives have a compelling design, fast action, high performance materials, and most importantly, they are made in the USA. The Launch 4 knife has a California legal blade, which if it's legal in California, it's probably legal where you're at, and is ridiculously fast actioned. Its symmetry and design, both the aluminum handle and spear point blade, add distinction. Following the tradition of its predecessors, the Launch 4 has a bullseye pattern red firing button and a tip-up carry pocket clip. This automatic knife is a pint-sized stud with daily usefulness. So going over the specs real quick, the overall length is just over 5 inches. Blade length is just under 2, it's 1.9 inches. Blade thickness is just, it's over a tenth of an inch, it's not much. CPM 154 blade material, which we'll talk about in a second. Spear point design. You can see why it's called the spear point design. It finishes in black on the blade. Edge is plain. And you can see here, I'm chosen this sick looking blue. This is like the best looking blue I may have. It's just crazy cool. So CPM 154 steel, it's really a jack of all trades metal. It can be worked easily, yet retains its characteristics of chip resistance, edge res retention, corrosion resistance, and ease of sharpening. Manufacturers that use CPM 154 have recognized that steel is making a great blade that checks all the boxes for them. It's really a workhorse, and for Kershaw, it's towards their higher end of blade steel that they use. That's why this knife costs a little bit more than your typical Kershaw. Well worth it, though. It's a really good steel, um, an edge that you should be able to put a good edge on. Um, but for the use of these, you won't have an issue with it. It'll be a really, really great steel. So let's talk a little bit about usefulness. So a lot of people call this knife the box opener, and that's kind of what it really is meant for, is that so those small tasks like that. Opening a box, opening your dog food, cutting a hole in there, plastic bags. Uh, you know, it can do more than that, but it's a small knife, so it's really meant to be concealable, uh, do your daily tasks, and really effectively do those. So. I got a box here with some tape on it. I'm gonna cut up a little bit just to show you real quick. I don't normally do that, but that's really the usefulness of this. So let's do that. All right, just an Amazon box here, nothing too special, but just to kind of show you the slicing capability. So real sharp knife, I'm gonna get to it. There we go. See, just slice things open. If you need to cut something a little bit bigger, it's there's not a lot to the knife, but it can just, zip stuff off so um, it has some workability there great little size so if you're looking for use for this it's really a just a small concealable nice little knife my usefulness would be as a pocket knife a second carry pocket knife uh, perhaps you're talking about a purse knife 
um, something along those lines. This thing has pop. You can see it's really small. You can see it in my hand, but when I deploy it, it just it wants to jump out of my hands. It deploys so fast. This is a uh, just pops. It's got that great sound. If you can hear that, just a really neat little knife. Again, this is not a heavy use knife. You're probably not going to use it for barbecuing and cutting limbs and whittling and doing a bunch of different stuff with it. It's just not built for that. But if you're just looking for something for a daily use, again, open boxes, open bags, uh, think little things like that, hey, you just can't go wrong with this for 80 bucks too, which I have a link down below to Blade HQ where you can buy this or on Amazon. So uh, check that out. And thank you for coming today and checking out this review. If you haven't already, check out some other knife reviews that we have. will be linked at the end of this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. I'm uh, going to be doing a lot more knife reviews. I have a whole lineup set up. Also diving into fishing and hunting season, so a lot of outdoor uh, videos coming up. So thanks again. Until next time. Mm -hmm.